The heavy evidence is that Eric Holder is using his skin color as a shield to avoid explaining to the American people why he has been so ineffective on a variety of fronts. Or am I wrong? It's long past time to stop this kind of nonsense. Richard Nixon was treated far more harshly by Congress than Barack Obama. And his attorney general, John Mitchell, was ruined over the Watergate investigation. Truth is that Eric Holder has been treated gently by the national press and has not been subject to much scrutiny by the public. In fact, most Americans don't even know who he is. Eric Holder's first duty is to the American people, not his party and not the president. But we get nothing from him. He doesn't update investigations in specific ways. He holds back documents from Congress and he stonewalls time and again. That's the truth and it has nothing to do with skin color. And that's the memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction. Joining us from Washington, Richard Fowler, radio talk show host on WPWC in D.C. And from Los Angeles, Ebony Williams, an attorney is also on the radio. So where am I going wrong here, Ebony? Well, Bill, to say he's done nothing is just not true. I think Eric Holder from the beginning of his term as attorney general made it clear that he had a specific agenda concerning civil rights issues. And on that issue, he's been very effective. He's brought challenges to North Carolina and other states who, in my opinion, have enacted illegal voting rights laws. He's done a variety of things with NY's in, in uh, PD and their, you know, disparaging treatment against certain people of color concerning stop and frisk. So he's been effective, Bill. Has he been perfect? Absolutely not. And I do well, agree I mean, with the right. fact that the media guess, has treated him fairly. I guess you could fairly. say he's been effective if in, in some precincts. But on the big questions, the big so-called scandals, Mr. Fowler, he's brought nothing. He's gotten to the bottom of nothing. And, and he's saying that he's being treated roughly because of his skin color. It's outrageous, in my opinion. Well, Bill, I wouldn't know if I don't think 5,000 documents turned over to the Government Oversight Committee or the, and the Judiciary Committee is nothing. He's turned over thousands of pages of documents. They asked he's for specific documents, Mr. Fowler, specific documents they wanted to see to try to get to the bottom of this gun thing that's led to deaths. And he wouldn't but give them to, he, to them. And he was cited. But Bill, in his do you know how many Democrats voted to hold him in contempt, Mr. Fowler? I, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure not any because no, I think he's no, doing a great did. job. No, they did. Are you kidding me? <laughs> a lot of Democrats voted to hold him in contempt because he is stonewalling fast and furious. And for him to get true, up there Bill. and say it's because he's getting roughed up rhetorically because of his skin color, it's just there's no evidence to support that. None. Well, I On think if you listen to Mr. Bill, Fowler I answer, Ebony. There's no evidence to support his contention. The contention that he made at NAN this week was that him and the president are treated differently because they happen to be African American. Yeah, and what, I think where, if you, you can't don't back it up. Back it I'll up, I'll give Mr. you a Fowler. great example. President, president Obama in his State of the Union address just a couple years ago was heckled by a member of Congress. The first time that has ever happened in recent history. Uh, stop. And you that's can't say there individual, That's one individual who was who inappropriate to be prejudiced. and who got scolded. <laughs> Who is inappropriate and got who scolded. also raised a million dollars after heckling the president of the United States? Uh, are you States? kidding me, Mr. Fowler? You're going to sit there and say one guy who made one remark is symbolic well, of the whole system, symbolic of he Congress? He disrespected the office of the president of so the United it's States one of America. Guy, one person who All happens right, Ebony, to be. Could we, could we concede that he's prejudiced? I, I'm not going to concede anything. I'm saying it's ridiculous. If that's all you got, that's crazy. All right. Bill, let uh, me look, offer this. Wait, wait. Let the me Attorney offer this General of the United States told an advocacy group, primarily African-American, that he's being treated differently, and so is the president, and implied because of his skin color. And you're telling me, Mr. Fowles, because one guy yelled at him in a... In he's a, not the only on. one that's made that right, comment. Well, representative, back it up. Back it up with the consistency. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to. The representative from Colorado called the president a tar baby. Another example, uh, another implication where they've right, disrespected right. the president so of the United we'll States. They made a you National Geographic commercial painting... All right. What do you say, Ebony? I say the causal link between whether or not the president or the attorney general are being targeted specifically because of their race is weak. I think that, yes, there might be some bigots out there, absolutely, that there dislike are. these of men because of their race. Are. But there are also people that genuinely disagree on the basis of policy and politics and ideology, and that's fine. I think there are much more stronger examples of race-based discrimination in this country, such as our justice system, something is near and dear to my right, heart, well, something well, I've worked wait, in, wait, in wait, the wait, trenches wait, every wait. day. That, that's absolutely. not what we're talking. We're talking about the chief law law enforcement yeah. agent of this country 
speaking in a public forum to African Americans, implying sure. that the criticism of him, certainly valid when you look at his record for major cases, all right, is because he's black and he got nothing As to you back said, it up. I'll as you said on Fox and Friends, Bill, you cannot put words in his mouth. I think that there was a, a he also deals with these issues every day. He is the leading law enforcement agent in our country. He has to be the one to call these officers of the law to the mat on these issues of the way they discriminate, if not by intent, certainly by action. Ebony. Stop and frisk. Look at Albuquerque. Look, Ebony, yes, these, these are yes, local sir. issues. And I don't mind him using the Justice Department to right the local wrongs. We're talking about three huge stories, three enormous stories. Benghazi, IRS, Fast and Furious. We get nothing. Yeah. All right, Mr. Fowler, I'm giving you well, the you last word held on in it. We get nothing. Oh, oh, Go ahead. Listen, I, I completely agree with Ebony on the point that, you know, you can't just take his words out of context. Clearly, he's pointing to situations, not only what's happening to him and the president, what's happening all across this country. I mean, the recent poll came out showing that we as a country know race relations aren't good here. And I think those race relations mm -hmm. spew over to the president, the attorney general, as well as the first lady. We've seen racism happen to them. We've seen prejudice happen to them. And I'm happy that we're finally having a conversation about it here on The Factor. All because right. we need uh, to I mean, look, we get to the bottom I, We've had the conversation for years here, but the, the latest poll that you cite is 52% of Americans think there's real hope of ending racial discrimination. So that's not a bad number at all. But I, I really, I think Mr. Holder is doing the whole country a disservice by pulling that card out. He shouldn't. But we appreciate the lively debate. Caution.